In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your proxy server using Amazon EC2 instances. Let me show you the console. We are going to launch new instances and we are going to use them uh, as a proxy server for SOX5 and HTTPS. I'm going to use an automated tool to make this uh, process easier. So let me show you. It's called Cloud Proxy Lab. We just need to create an account if you don't have one, or we can just log in. Then you can see all the cloud providers that this website supports. We're going to use AWS, but you can also use all these other providers. So let's go to the first step. We need to go to cloud accounts page. Then we need to click on add new account. And then we choose AWS. Here you can see the instructions on how to connect your account. So let's go visit this link. Then we need to click uh, here on create access key. I already have one. Let me delete this one. Okay. Now we need to create an access scheme. You click here and I understand creating a root access scheme. Create access scheme. Here you get your access key and the secret key. Just copy them. And let's go. Uh, let me refresh the page uh, here. Okay. You can choose any name. Let me choose AWS tutorial. Then the API key we just copied. And then the secret key, you paste them, and then you can see the account was signed up successfully. Now we just need to go to here, to the proxies page, sorry. Then we need to click on create new proxy. And then here you need to choose your cloud account. You can also use existing, existing servers, but in this case, we're going to use uh, AWS. Uh, integration to make all the proxy servers automatically so let's go then we go here we choose the account we just added for the location you can choose any location from here you have all these lists different countries and uh, let's choose us east then for then for the instance type you can choose any size i recommend choosing this one as is the cheapest and sometimes they have a free tire so you can also use that one or you can choose also this one micro it's also cheap so then you can choose how many proxies you want to create just remember one proxy it's uh, one instance so just make sure you you know that then uh, you can choose any uh, port for your HTTP proxy and SOX5. I'm going to leave the default. And here for the proxy credentials, you can also choose your own username and own password. But I'm going to use this one as, as it's secure and random. So let's go create proxy. Then the proxy job, it's, it's already created. So we just need to wait here. I'm going to mute my microphone until this, this is finished. It will take around one minute, so let's wait.
now as you can see the proxy was created so let's go copy the credentials to show you that it is working you can see the type sox5 and https the ip protocol ipv4 and then the instance type we selected the location and if you want to connect to your server via ssh you can also do it you just need these credentials plus the ssh key that we just used you can see it here you can copy this this private key and you can connect to your server and manage and use it for other things also just make sure to don't use the port that the proxy is using okay so we can see here let me copy this one and let's go test it this is an online checker just to show you and also let me put uh, i copied uh, H okay https as you can see it's the same proxy just uh, it just changed the port for the protocol and now you can see the speed less than a second uh, you can see the 200 status okay the type for each proxy and the location united states this is the you can choose any location and this is the tutorial thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions.